Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today I have some quick and easy DIYs that will be amazing for any tear tray for the St. Patty's Day season. These DIYs were so easy and only took minutes to make. So come along with me and let's art today! For my first DIY, I found some of these wood alpha tiles. They're like Scrabble tiles that I found at Dollar General for just a couple of dollars. I believe there were two. I'm just going to remove them from the package and we are going to make some words today. So the first word that I'm trying to make is the word lucky. I'm just turning over all the tiles and trying to find the letters. The second word that I am making is St. Patrick's Day. Now that I have my words all spelled out, I'm just taking some hot glue and hot gluing the letters side by side onto each other. Now you can use wood glue if you like, but my hot glue worked just fine. Now that I have my word glued all together, I wanted it to stand up. Now it can stand up by itself, but it knocks down pretty easily. So I have some of these cube wood pieces from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing one of those wood pieces to the back of the sign or the word. And once again, I'm just using my hot glue gun to adhere the cube to the back of the word. I continued the same process with the word St. Patrick's Day and I attached each cute or letter next to each other and then after I was done I attached Saint on top of the Patrick's and then the Patrick's on top of the day. And once everything was attached together I did add that one cube to the back of this word as well. And that is it for DIY number one. It literally took me maybe five minutes to make. It was so simple, it's so easy, and I think it would look so cute on a tear tray. Moving on to DIY number two, which has to be hands down my favorite. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I love gnomes. And I found these two gnomes from Dollar Tree. They were a little beaten up. They have cracks, they have chips, and the paint job is just not that good. So I'm going to give them a makeover. Once again, here's how they look as a close up. I just love their little poses, but I just want to give them a fresh look. So to paint my gnomes, I use a combination of acrylic paints and chalk paints. The first step I did was take some brown acrylic paint, yellow and white, mix it together to get his skin tone. Then I'm painting it all over the gnome's face, giving him two coats of this brown color. And then I repeat the same step for the second gnome. Now I'm going in with some Irish green chalk paint and painting this little guy's outfit with that color. I just use it for his pants and his hat. Once again, I am giving each section two coats of paint so that the paint is really opaque. For our next gnome friend, I'm going in with this chalk paint and I'm painting his hat and the bottom of his pants 
as well, giving him two coats of paint and setting them off to the side to dry completely before moving on. For this gnome here, I really love that yellow color, so I'm just filling it in with the closest yellow chalk paint color I have just to get rid of those marks and cracks. For this gnome, I really like this gray color that I have. It's called Castle, and I color in his shirt using that color. So even though I'm using these gnomes for my St. Patrick's Day decor, I wanted to keep the paint as neutral as possible because I want to keep these gnomes out all year long. Like I said earlier, I just love gnomes, so that's why I kept it as simple as possible. Hey, if you have reached this far into the video and you're still not subscribed, I would love for you to do so now. Please hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell notification so that YouTube can always notify you when I upload new content. And I would really love for you to be part of my virtual art family where we can do DIYs, creative things together. And here are my little gnome friends. Aren't they adorable? I just can't believe what a fresh coat of paint will do for this type of project. It makes it look so much neater, so much crisp. They're so cute in their little poses and I just adore them. Again, if you love gnomes as much as I do, leave me a comment below as to what I should name these two little guys and I'm so happy they're part of my collection now. Moving on to our third and final DIY, I have two of these clay pots that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I still think it is a great deal that you get two for $1.25. I removed one from the package and I'm giving it a good solid coat of white chalk paint. After the paint has completely dry, I'm taking one of my Posca paint markers in the color black and I'm going to draw in some solid lines from the top of the pot going all the way down. And then I put an X in the middle so I know which side I want to paint in. Now that I have my lines, I'm taking some black acrylic paint and I'm filling in where I put all the X's on those stripes. I just love painting on these clay pots because they soak up the paint so quickly that it dries in literally seconds. Once again, I'm going in with that Posca paint marker in the color black and I'm adding little stitches on the white portion of the stripes. Here's how my pot looks with everything completed and I just really adore this look. It's time to decorate the pot. I found this tinsel green hat at Dollar Tree and I thought it was so adorable. All I am doing is adding it to the top of the pot and I wanted to add more decorations to the hat. I will be hot gluing some leftover gold coins that I still had on hand to the side of the hat along with a foam three leaf clover. And here's how it turned out. I absolutely love this. I love the black and white stripes and the hat on top. I just think it is so cute. And here is a overall look at the projects that I did today. Aren't they so cute? If you enjoyed them as much as I did, 
please leave me a message down below as to which one was your favorite of the day like i said before these would look perfect in a tier tray and i also set them up in a tier tray here is a overview of everything that i have done in the past and today on this tier tray that i made out of dollar tree products i just absolutely love it if you can please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already be sure to click on the bell notification so that you can always be notified when i upload new content and i would love for you to be part of my virtual art family if you enjoy these types of videos and content diys that i make please smash that thumbs up button it really does help out my channel and as always thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one